Pedro, we're back ahead of the Nations League kicking off. How much are you looking forward to a return to competitive action? Well, it was a great taste uh, in July and, uh, and performances and also in April. So, yeah, we're looking forward to come back with the team uh, for these competitive matches to bring the group together back on, on Monday to continue working and to perceive the energy of players and staff. We're going in strong, you know, with a lot of momentum. How important has that preparation been in the lead up to this that you mentioned there, no less from, from the July camp? Yeah, it has been a, a long uh, period in terms of culture developing, uh, game model developing, and, and the players have been always brilliant. On that, obviously, you want to transform this one in, in results and performances. So I think in the last camp, we have been able to, to to transform that one. I think we, we are very pleased, but we are aware that still some, there are areas of, of improvement for our team, but we, are, we can compete against any opponent. I think that's the, the key, that we can feel the confidence and we are building on that also mental element of being capable to beat and compete against any opponent. I actually spoke to Emma Watson today and that was something that she said. There's there's a fearlessness that we can, we can take on anybody and go in with that confidence that we are Scotland and, and we'll have that approach every time. Yeah, confidence comes with uh, obviously with preparation to details and with feelings inside that you are prepared and you are capable to face the challenge. And I think that's what we have been doing together repeatedly. I think when you convert this in a habit, then you can go to any match expecting to be in the game, expecting to represent your country and inspire your nation and put good performances. You've named another strong squad, the return of Christy Grimshaw, Rachel Corsi is back as well. Um, we've got the youth coming through as well and Kirsty McLean is back, Emma Watson is back. How pleasing is that blend of youth and experience that you've, you've, you've brought together? It's part of the process obviously, the time never stops and then we have to provide opportunities at the same time that we want to take the experience of other players and the leadership and, uh, and the quality of other players. So I think that's what we have been trying to do in this, in this transition moment, to prepare a team, to prepare a team that can compete in the Euros. But still, we are far away of this, of this journey, but I think this, the work has to be done now and the, pro the opportunities and the answers has to be given now from players and make sure the players can perform at the level and we can provide them help and support. So we are ready for the challenge when the challenge comes. Also Amy Gallagher, you've called Amy up um, and that's her first call up. She's been in great form um, at club level. What do you hope Amy can, can bring to the group? Well, we always define in three levels. Uh, if she's ready to train at the, at the highest level, if she's ready to compete and if she's ready to win. I think we want all the players ready to win. We want all the players with the mentality, with the preparation, with the capability to be ready to win at the international level. At the moment, we don't know, she has not been involved, but I think she deserves an opportunity as many other players. She deserves to be considered. She's a player clinical in front of goal that has been scoring goals last season and this season. She's in a great form. And also the Scottish League has started already, so a lot of Scottish players could be potentially in a good moment now to, to participate in international level and it's for her to take the challenge and we will we will support her on, on this challenge to make sure she can have the best opportunities. And just finally, how important is the support that we get from our, our fantastic fans? We know we'll have that travelling support down to England and then we'll be back here at Hamden as well. How vital is it when, when the players walk out um, that there is that support there? Well, I would say that no, it's the most important part because I, I will not be taking my responsibility on my job, but I think it can make a difference. I think the Scotland fans are probably the best in the world in terms of being loud, in terms of supporting the team and the atmosphere in the, in the games to come can be critical on, on, on supporting the team and making the field players to give that extra. I think that's something that I have seen a, a change in the culture and in the mentality of people to, to come to watch the games but we are looking forward to have more and more and to make sure we inspire more people to be in our matches and to feel connected with the team.